settles and away they go. Natkins and Grimshaw did not get a good start. Royal Shindig began well, is one of the early leaders. Motor City Hitman's up there, Linger Longer up along the inside and super handsome in the neon green and black colours. Wider out to Storm Commander. On the road again is about five, six lengths off them with Gold Rock hugging the fence in behind that. And that's about six or seven lengths off them and further back to Atkinson Grimshaw. A race down towards the 1200 meter marker. Royal Shindig has it by about a length and a half from Storm Command, who's popped his nose into second. Super Handsome is in third. Then came Motor City Hitman on the outside of a Linga Longa. On the road again is five, six lengths off the leader with Gold Drop second to last. And Atkinson Grimshaw, the riders, lost the top of the skull cap there. About to turn into the home straight, 800 to go. Royal Shindig is going to bring them into their home stretch here from Storm Commander, who's already starting to challenge at the top of the straight. Super Handsome is racing away in third, then came Motor City Hitman. Further back to Alinga Longa, three lengths to make up on the road again. Gold Rocks, five to go, and Atkinson Grimshaw has a lot of ground to make up. 400 meters out, it's Super Handsome, Royal Shindig, and now Alinga Longa starts to move up smartly along the inside. Storm Commander's there, then Motor City Hitman. Alinga Longa's picked it up, Motor City Hitman becomes a danger on the outside. Motor City Hitman, and along the inside is Alinga Longa, Gold Rock, and on the outside, Atkinson Grimshaw's flying. It's in front, Alinga Longa from Gold Rock. Alinga Longa, Gold Rock, Atkinson Grimshaw. I think Gold Rock got there. Gold Rock won it from Atkinson Grimshaw, and Alinga Longa very close though. Yeah. Atkins and Grimshaw can't believe the finish of the source. Taken off under Liam Kotwa, but you've got to hand it to jockey Matthew Thackeray. A pickup ride for Matthew, and he's done it on Gold Rock in those Tara Lang colours. The yellow with the red rampant Lion of Scotland winning race number four. Well, Gold Rock finally gets it right, and I'm sure Ryan Munger watching back home, and uh, you'll look at this and think, I've done so much work, and it takes Matthew to come to the Eastern Cape and win this afternoon. Perfect ride, because we heard what Gavin Fent had to say when chatting to Nadine. This horse has to hit the front on the line. Well, I'll tell you what, Matthew got it to hit the, the winner's box on the line, and, that, and right on the last step. Uh, short head, short head, short head. Gavin, well done to you. You know, two things. The good news is shorted, 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 so you get a minimal penalty, so that's the good news. But no, he is a difficult horse, you know, and when Ryan phoned uh, Tara to say he's sick, I said, no, Tara, our biggest problem is to find somebody who, who could replace Ryan, because Ryan yeah. knows his horse backwards, and Matthew rode for us before, he did very well for us, and he was a perfect jockey, so um, we got hold of him. Luckily, he managed to get on a plane. And, yeah, I had to tell him and over and over, he's never ridden the source. You don't understand, you can't hit the front too soon. And watching him come into the straight, he was never traveling, he was off the bit, he was now, thought the source is not kicking, he's not kicking, and then eventually he had no choice but to pull him out, and he pulled him out in the open. I thought, well, he's got no choice. And he got up on the line, and I'll say it again, I don't give the source in a maiden plate, I won't back him, because you, <laughs> you can't trust him. Yeah. But he has got the ability, and I'm going to say it again, the source needs to go 18-2000. 18, 18, the next time I want to run him over further, because the way he travels in a race, I think he needs to go further, so when they compound, he'll go past them. So I think he needs further, but well done. I think you need to speak to the owner as well to see what the owner thinks that where the source must run next. It's owned by Tara. Yeah, luckily <laughs> the owner leaves it to me. The owner knows that uh, uh, I basically know what I'm doing, and I've, I've said to Ryan before, I'm telling this horse needs yeah. to go further, but yeah. we'll try him over further. I'm, I'm happily uh, that thank you uh, to Tara. I'm glad that the horse has won for her. She had a winner the other day with Razorette, so things are looking good. Okay, well done, Gavin. Thank you. Thanks very much. Let's go to winning jockey, and it's a long time since I've last chatted to Matthew. We spent some time together in Kimberley as well, chatting years back, and uh, nice to have you visiting in the Eastern Cape. Well done. No, definitely, and I mean, um, obviously, thanks to Mr. Uh, Mrs. Lang, Mr. Fenter, and Ewan. I mean, um, without them, I wouldn't get the call up to come, so um, all credit to them. I mean, as usual, when I rode for them previously, the horses were always on par, on point when you get to races. And if you follow, in the, uh, follow the instructions that were, that's given to you, I mean, you can't, you really can go wrong. And you really followed them to the T, right to the last centimetre. Well, I mean, I also, <laughs> I have to give accolades to Ryan Munger. Um, yeah. Obviously, I spoke to him, I had a chat before I came up. He knows us very well. Um, him and Mr. Fenter were on par with uh, instructions. So, I mean, gratefully, I could follow them and duly obliged, he won.
All right, let's get a little bit of an unbiased opinion. How's the track running from somebody that doesn't ride you often? Oh, the track is beautiful, I must say. Um, obviously, I haven't ridden here for quite a while, but um, obviously, uh, the track's very nice, running well. Seems to be running up there. I mean, most horses, they're not making up too much, so uh, what? all just for beautiful days racing. Tremendous. Well done to you. Hopefully we see you later. No, definitely. Always up for another one. Thanks. And just to Mrs. Lang, a big thanks to her. Obviously, it's her colours, so it's a big thanks to her, and thanks to her for bringing me down. Tremendous. Well said. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. That's Matthew Thackeray in the winner's box here. This is a son of Pomodora, and that is number six, Gold Rock. First leg of the first jackpot this afternoon, bred out at Clarver Flaystone.